Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install a PS5 SSD, internal extended storage from GameStop. This will also work on other brands as well. Okay, so for the PlayStation, make sure you have where the PlayStation logo is, face down, and then the power button away from you. So this would be your point of view. And then make sure you basically grip this bottom right area, and with your left hand, grip the top left area, and then like so. Gently slide it, and once you slide the panel off, you're gonna notice this little area here. Make sure you have proper screwdrivers, and this is where the heat sink SSD is gonna go. Okay, then get a screwdriver. Make sure it's small enough, because some of them are a little bit big and they're gonna damage the screw. I almost did that here. Make sure you get a small enough screwdriver to unscrew this. Then lift this, and you see this area? This is a screw head that you unscrew with a washer, and you're gonna place the SSD inside here it's going to like basically plug in and then once you secure it remove the washer and screw and put into one of these notches and again find the right screwdriver for the screw here once you do that so you should have a tiny screw and uh, a secure washer next up depending which type of ssd drive you got you should find it in a package it's like this small thin little rectangular chip piece and this has a pre-built heat sink if you just see one that looks like it's just like a microchip or something that's long with a computer board make sure you put a heat sink because that's going to prevent it from overheating and keep it cool inside the console so next up you should be able to plug plug it in and then make sure it snaps so right now okay you hear that click it should snap in. Place the washer and screw right there. And again, depending which SSD you're going to get, it's going to vary in size. But put it there. Make sure it's secure. And it should hopefully recognize the drive and you can format it. Okay, so this was a little bit tricky. You have to have the washer in between there. It's not going to go under entirely and it's not going to go over. So what I did is I basically connected, if you have a magnetic screw, I connected the screw to the washer. So when you screw it in, the washer should be there and keep this secure. So to get this back on, you see this little end here? You're gonna connect that in here. Make sure it slides in there and this should be placed perfectly. Make sure it's safely secured. Then you basically slide this back on until it snaps. Okay, so when you turn on your PlayStation, make sure everything is connected. And hopefully it gives us the option to format the drive if I installed it correctly. You use your MD, you need to format it. So please format it. So right now it's formatting the drive so we're able to use it as a form of extended storage. That'll make it a lot of fun on video games. We're gonna have a lot of fun now. So here we're gonna go to storage and it should be listed. So there's console storage. That's a free space I have left. GameStop, now see, they include just a little bit more than two terabytes, which is awesome. I'm gonna enjoy having some extra memory. I hope this tutorial helped you out. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos for more content. Till next time, everyone.